Hi, my name is Nadia Solovey and I'm an Imri Affiliated Scientist. And I'm here today at the Liverpool Hospital where we're conducting a study on the MRI scanner within the Cancer Therapy Centre. Now, I'm not doing cancer research. I'm continuing with my studies on cannabis and schizophrenia. And we're using the scanner here, facilitated through an agreement between IMRI and the Ingham Institute. We've just recently completed a study that we conducted in the laboratories at IMRI, where we were administering two different cannabinoids, THC and cannabidiol, abbreviated as CBD, to healthy volunteers, cannabis users and non-users. And we were looking at the effects of these two compounds on symptoms, cognition, and EEG measures specifically of glutamatergic function. So glutamate is the brain's primary excitatory neurotransmitter, and it is aberrant in schizophrenia. There is a glutamate hypothesis of schizophrenia. So we're trying to understand what it is, by what mechanisms THC might induce psychotic symptoms in vulnerable individuals, what makes some people vulnerable to developing schizophrenia if they use cannabis, and whether this might be through a glutamatergic mechanism. What we can do here at the scanner is to actually direct levels of glutamate and GABA in specific regions of the brain. So we are also administering those same two cannabinoid compounds to healthy volunteers and looking at the effects on glutamatergic and GABAergic levels in the brain. So with MRI, we can not only look at the structure of the brain and measure specific brain regional volumes, we can also look at brain activation and how that's affected by these different compounds. And in order to determine the levels of GABA and glutamate in the brain, we use something called magnetic resonance spectroscopy where we determine the spectral peaks of those excitatory and inhibitory neurotransmitters and can determine then their levels in the brain after administration of these compounds.